What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're gonna to be installing VLAND LED taillights on my 2008 ISF. Now if you have a Lexus IS, you probably already know about these taillights. These are probably the most popular taillights for the IS. They might even be the only option, I'm not sure. But I know a lot of people have these on their IS because they look freaking awesome. And they actually reached out to me to install a set on my ISF. Now these come in two different options. They come in red, as you can see here. And then they have a smoked option and I chose to go with the red set. I think it's gonna look really good on my ISF. Now these are gonna be full LED housings just like the factory housings are, except the factory reverse light wasn't LED. These do have integrated LEDs in them for the reverse light. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna work because I already have an upgraded LED bulb in my reverse light. So I'm curious to see if it's gonna be just as bright or brighter, but everything else is full LED just like the factory and it should bolt up without a problem and they're gonna look pretty awesome. So. Let's go over to the car and get the passenger side installed and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and uh, see what you guys think. All right, let's start off by installing the tail light on the trunk. So let's get this thing open. All right, for this part, there's a bunch of clips holding on this trunk liner. Just grab a trim panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver and pop them off in this area as well as the other side so you can access the tail light right here. And that right there is basically all you have to do for this side. All right, there's three nuts securing this tail light in. There's one right here, and there's two more right here. Grab yourself a 10 millimeter socket. Now in this location right here, there's actually two studs with nuts on them. The one that secures the tail light is the one furthest this way. Then you're going to want to disconnect this electrical connector. There we go. And this connector is clipped into the sheet metal here, so you will have to pop it out. And now the taillight can be removed. All right, here's a side by side of the OEM and VLAN housing. The VLAN looks a whole lot nicer and a lot more aggressive on the back. Pretty much identical except the color. You know, it's got the three studs on there. It has a complete plug and play OEM style connection. And it has gaskets around here to make sure it doesn't leak. This is pretty much, you know, an OEM fit plug and play solution here, but it's gonna look a whole lot better. So let's get this bad boy installed. Since these are pretty much as OEM as it gets, it installs the exact same way as your Move the Factory one. Even has a brand new clip right here for it to snap right into place and then just reinstall the three nuts. Now it's very important that you do not over torque these nuts. These studs are just going into plastic. So just get them snug. You do not need to super crank these things. And just like that, it's that simple. We can put the liner back in. All right, now let's work on this one. Grab a Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw holding this clip on here. Then use your trim removal tool or flathead screwdriver and pop this clip off. I think this would also be an eight millimeter uh, socket, but Phillips screwdriver works just fine. There's one more clip down here. And then you can move this piece out of the way up here. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's another clip behind this carpet. Now, you can push the carpet out of the way and see the three nuts that hold on the tail light. Pop off the electrical connector down here. Unplug it. Then remove the three nuts. Then you're going to want to push the tail light straight back. It's in a couple clips that's going to prevent it from going side to side. You want to push it straight back.
take your VLAN housing and get the wiring harness through. Line it up with the clips and line up your studs and then you're just going to push straight forward. Then put the three nuts back on. Plug the electrical connector back in, snap the pin, snap the clip back into the sheet metal. Once you got everything back together, just repeat the same process on the other side of the car and you're done. All right, got the VLANs on the right and the OEM on the left. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with, you know, the brake light, tail light, turn signal, reverse light and see how everything looks. Turn on the headlights. All right. Oh, I love that. All right. Much more aggressive and way better looking than OEM. Uh, hit the brakes. All right. Off the brake. On the brake. Off the brake. On the brake. Okay. I will say I think the OEM might be more noticeable with the brake light, but aesthetically I'm definitely liking the VLANs more. Turn off the headlights and hit the brake pedal. All right. Hit the brake pedal again. Definitely with the tail lights off, the VLANs have a more noticeable brake light, but I think with the headlights on, the OEM is a little bit more noticeable. Uh, let's check out the turn signals. Oh, apparently the OEM is incandescent. Uh, I thought it was uh, LED, but the VLAND is LED, and I think it looks much, much better. And since it is an LED housing, it does light up and turn off instantly rather than you know, kind of glowing on and off like the incandescent. Um, the OEM has a bigger turn signal, like the actual surface area, the light is larger, it looks like, but I think I like the VLANs better. And now for the reverse lights. Okay, the VLANs actually isn't that bad. Um, I think it's only a, I think it's only slightly dimmer than my upgraded LED bulb. Uh, you can definitely see the four individual LEDs. Let's see if we can get this car closer to the wall and see if there's any kind of pattern with it, if it casts any light at all. It's very hard to tell with the camera because, you know, neither of them really put out a, neither of them put out a whole lot of light, but I think my upgraded LED bulb in the OEM housing is a little bit brighter than the VLANs, but if you were going to compare this to stock, the VLANs are definitely brighter than the OEM reverse light. So I'm still pretty happy with it. It's barely a noticeable difference, so it's not that big of a deal at all, and they look a whole lot better. All right, guys, there you go. Got the VLAN LED taillights installed in the ISF. I'm absolutely loving the way they look. They look so much better than factory. And it is important to note that these do not cause hyperflashing with the turn signals. When you hit the turn signals, they operate just like they would with OEM taillights. They installed flawlessly. They look absolutely perfect. I couldn't be happier with them. And I will have a link to these in the description down below if you want to pick up a set or learn more about them. Uh, big thanks to VLANs for helping me out with this video. So big thanks to VLANs for helping me out with this video. It wouldn't be possible without them. So definitely go check out their products. I will have a link in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something and hope you guys like the way they look because I absolutely love them. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.